to review something else. We don't want to keep reviewing X Shop. We don't want to keep reviewing Nerf. I wish there was something else that could be reviewed. What is this, Logan? It's a Nerf gun. It's not a Nerf gun. It's a big power assault rifle. This looks super cool, doesn't it, Logan? So we actually had a company called Big Power Approaches, and they've sent us this to do a review on, which we're super excited about, aren't we, Logan? What we're going to do is we're going to open the box and see what's inside. Let's see what I did. What? Is that what you did when it no, came yeah. through? No, yeah. no, yeah. Wow. What we're going to do then is we're going to open this box up, see what's inside, and. Let's see, gun is Do you think there's a gun inside? Yeah! Yeah! I'll put it Wow. I so can't let's, just, let's just have a look at the box quickly first then. So, this is a, this is a oh, gun. Oh, I can that... see, I can see bullets. Yeah. Um, can you see that? So Logan's pointing out there's a clip. It, it really looks like this gun. Ah, it does. So what we're showing, what Logan's showing you is it's got like a magazine with a big capacity that yeah, goes into the gun. But it's not electric. That one is electric. It does look like it's electric, doesn't and it? Look, look, what, look what this does. Right, Logan, we're not reviewing that one, are we? I'm not. I'm not reviewing Yes, yeah, so. This is a gun by Big Power then. So like I mentioned, they wanted to send us this to actually do a review, Logan. So they've actually sent us this. So let's thank Big Power. They're a brand new company with a brand new range. So this is, is let's just open it. Let's just open it. Let's go. Right, so it's a really nice box. It looks like it's quite well branded. I can see a bullet. I do quite like how it's in a box and you can't actually see the product straight away like with an X shop gun oh, or a new hey, one. Hey, hey, guys, do you imagine if we can see it, it's only white and we can see it. Wow, and let's have a look. Oh, it's got a bullet in it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's got a bullet in it. Yeah, look, yeah, it's got a bullet in it. 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 It's got a bullet Oh wow! Wow, it actually comes with more bullets. And we use This is super cool. Guys, guys, we already have one of these, don't we? We've what? already got lots of them bullets, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, I mean, black ones. Yeah, we already have one. Now we're not we only had one of these black bullets. Now, now we've got, how many did you get? 100 bullets with this, that's amazing. Yeah. That'll keep us, well, it, I say it'll keep us going, but it'll probably last about a day. Oh, I can, see, I can see. Oh, what's this? These are things, these are things we can shoot down. Oh, wow, so these aren't actually part of the gun. These are actually targets you get in it as well. Yeah. I didn't realize there was so much stuff in that oh, little box. Oh, nice, batteries. Okay, two batteries. That's yeah. a massive plus to getting batteries with something these days. You end up having to buy your own, don't you? Yeah. And, and to, um, this is amazing, guys. Yeah, so while Logan just opens them batteries, I'll explain what's in the box then. So we seem to have two packs of Nerf bullets, or darts, um, as it's not Nerf. Uh, there seems to be 100 here, which is brilliant. We've got two targets, which we'll have a go at later. We've even got some safety goggles, Logan. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wear them. Should we have a look? Should we have a, should we have a go with these safety goggles? Yeah, I'll wear them. I'll wear them. You want to wear them? So show, show everyone at home what their goggles look like. Oh. Okay, so we didn't want to bore you guys with getting everything out of the packaging and empty it onto the table. So we've done the work for you. We've dumped everything on. I just want to point out that there wasn't any massive seller tape anywhere, no clips, nothing was held in really hard. Just ripped the packets open and basically got it out so it's dead simple dead straightforward nice packaging we've got a sight so it looks like it's a x so crosshairs which is really really cool so we'll put that on the gun later and we'll put it to the test when we shoot the targets won't we logan and the thing itself logan the gun now 
feels really nice as soon as you hold this. So it seems very hard plastic, which is really good. Doesn't look very flimsy, looks quite sturdy. Most of the weight seems to be at the front here, so as I'm holding it, it's really good that the weight is there because you can support it anyway with the grip at the front. It's got a nice sort of stock on it, so with a lot of guns, I don't really like the stocks, but this one looks like a proper rifle. Looks like you can proper get it in there in case there's any recoil or kickback. The magazine or the drum obviously goes in this section here, which we'll demonstrate when we're loading it and actually testing it later, once Logan's loaded it all. We've got the trigger, and with all electric guns, we've got the extra trigger there, which usually you have to hold in to actually engage it. And then when you're firing, using the firing trigger. All in all, the blue and black and orange goes really, really well. So really good iconic colors. Um, I like that it's not a matte finish, it's quite a shiny color, which is really nice. Um, the detail on here, so we've got the big power logo on the side here, and we've also got it engraved on the left hand side as well. And it's got quite a, uh, like a futuristic feel to this, so the designs on the sides actually seem like they're quite futuristic. So, although it's quite a modern looking rifle, it's actually got a futuristic feel to it, which is quite cool. So I'm really excited for this, it looks really nice. And like I say, it's got some sturdiness to it, it doesn't look very uh, flimsy at all. And yeah, I'm really excited to try it. Logan. Can you do your task of loading the bullets into the drum, please? What I want to do is go for the feel of this to see how easy they are to get in. I don't want them to be jamming. I don't want them to be really tough to get in. I want them to slide in nicely and have a nice fit so they don't drop out. So maybe we'll speed this part up so we can actually um, get it done for you. Nine. 30. So, all of them are in now, so, yeah, you can have a look at the guns, Logan, and you can pick what we have next. Right, you can have a look at the guns. So, one thing that I like to do straight away is just test, see if any of them fall out and how well gripped they are. So I'm giving that some good shake in there, some good force, none of them have dropped out. They were quite easy to get in, weren't they, Logan? Yeah? And... They weren't hard to push in, they were really easy and really snug to get in. Now, what we're going to be doing then is loading up the gun and putting the batteries in so we can actually have a test go of this gun. So, it looks like you need a screwdriver because what I've noticed straight away is there's this compartment on the side which actually houses the batteries. So, to point out here, it's a small Phillips screwdriver that you need and a nice little compartment which looks like it houses the batteries for the mechanism. So, speed this up slightly so you guys don't have to watch me struggling to put batteries in. Okay everyone, we've housed the batteries in the compartment now, so they seem nice and snugly fit in. Let's give it a go and just see that sounds really exciting, that sounds like it's got some good power to it. With some guns that I've done before, they don't seem to have like an oomph to the sound, it sounds really mild and mellow, whereas this one, it sounds like it's got some kick to it with them six batteries, so dead excited aren't we Logan to do this? What we're going to do now is just work out how to load the drum into the gun itself. It doesn't seem to fit. There seems to be this orange piece here in the way. Let's try and work out how to do it. Ah, so what we've got is a little orange button on the side here. When I press that, it actually releases that clip there. So it gives you a bit more space, which looks like it actually houses the magazine in. What we're going to do is look to put this in. What I've also noticed is there's actually a hexagon shape in here, which looks like matches up with the um, hexagon on the bottom of this drum itself. Now, um, 
I'm assuming we have to match that up, get it fit snugly in place, which seems about right, and it clicks in place when you push this handle back. So, that looks pretty decent. We've got locked and loaded 30 rounds here, which with an um, electric rifle is quite lethal for us. So we're going to look to um, have a go with the targets. We might set up a couple of our targets ourselves and we'll see how powerful this weapon is. All right then guys, so we're at the point now where we can actually test this beast and see how powerful it is, but also see the ultimate question and if it kills zombies. Now what do you think Logan, do you think this will kill zombies? And how powerful do you think it's going to be before we shoot it? You think it's going to be super powerful? Yeah? I know, that sounds brilliant, doesn't it? Right, what we're going to do then, so we've put the, we've put the sight on here. Logan. We've put the sight on here, and Logan, as you can see, is really excited to try this now. He just can't wait to get hold of it and shoot down these targets. Logan's going to take turns to actually shoot one of these targets down and see how many he can score. So just here, and then let's go, see how many targets you can get down. Oh. So I'm going to give it a quick go as well, so I can demonstrate shooting as well, so we can see if we can get the targets down. So the sight doesn't seem very accurate. We wouldn't expect that for a gun like this though. So we're going to go around to all the other bullets and we're going to have another go. Super cool and that's quite powerful actually. It's quite accurate when you don't use the sight and it's actually quite a nice feel when you're shooting the gun and it's actually spinning around the, um, the magazine as well. What we're going to do then guys is we're actually going to see how quickly we can unload all 30 bullets out of this gun. So I'm going to try and go for the targets but I'm also just going for the speed of how quickly we can load it. So let's go. Seems like we've got a little jam. So although that made my finger ache slightly doing it as fast as that, that was quite quick and quite powerful actually. So that was quite interesting. It did jam once, but what I liked about it is to get rid of the jam, all I did was quickly turned this um, this drum, drum here and it flipped and it ejected the, um, the jammed round out. So it was quite good, isn't it? It's, it's easy. It's not like it's got a compartment on the side where you have to get the, um, the jammed bullet out of. This was quite easy and quite straightforward, so I quite like it. So, as you can see, this gun made really well. It's got a great sight, it's got a great magazine, 30 round capacity, which is amazing. Easy to load, easy to shoot, best part being electric and powerful. So, I'd give it a couple of thumbs up, to be honest. Logan, show the guys at home this, show the guys at home how big it is compared to you. And what do you think? How powerful do you think it is? Um, 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10? That's a good score. And the ultimate question, Logan. Tell everybody, does it kill zombies? It does? No, why not much? Because you keep missing. Because I keep missing. Well, that's just my rubbish aim. Um, <laughs> if, if we are better at aiming. I didn't aim, I didn't aim. Oh, we didn't really aim. But it would kill zombies, wouldn't it? So I think this has been quite a successful review. This gun, really cool, big power. Thank you very much for sending us this to do a review on. See you later.